Hello, it's Catherine from my hillside garden. We're going to do a quick check on the worms to see how they're doing. It's been about 10 days, I think. It might even be two weeks. Um, I want to see how they're doing. I have emptied it one other time. I had a filming glitch, so that's why you didn't get to see it. So I wanted to bring you along this time. So let's take a look. Okay, not too bad there. Let's look inside. This is how everything looks inside. Now I'm going to try to do this with one hand and keep you in view. I did put a coffee filter on the top. It looks like they've gone through this pretty much. I did put, oh, there's still food in there, see? So I, I did put quite a bit of food in when I was in there the last time. So maybe we won't, I probably should harvest. So let's take a look. Get in there a little closer. Are there a lot of worms in there? Yeah, I think we could take them. We'll take them even though it's food because I have more food to put in here. So we're gonna put these into our DIY bucket, worm bucket. So hopefully, nope, not gonna be able to do it with one hand, hang on. So here we go, we have our whole handful of worms right there and we're gonna put them in our DIY bucket. Let's see if we can go grab some more. I really like this method because it doesn't, oh, look at all the worms in there. I hope you guys could see that. Let me see if I could get you in closer. There we go. In that food, they are hungry little guys doing their jobs. Look at that. They all came in from the side. There's a banana. So, oh, 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 come on, come on bunch more. We're just going to take out as many as we can grab in our hand at one time. There we go. Sorry about the camera work. We're going to put them, going to put them in our DIY bucket. So there's a second handful. Oh, this is, this is truly so much easier. Let's back out a bit. Is there a bunch more in there? Let's see. What do we have down over here? Oh, look at that nice handful. All right. There's some more. We're going to put them in there, too. Whoop. Okay. So, if you have ever had the experience of digging through the worms, to get them out of your compost, you know it can be backbreaking work. This was so much easier. And I think just about this whole thing is full with them. Let's keep some of this. Let's see. Okay, I think we're gonna take this handful here. Oop, there's some more at the bottom. See, that's why I didn't put the holes at the bottom of the container because it really helped being able to just catch a whole handful at one time. And I know there seems to be a lot of bedding there, but I have more coconut core that I can put in there as well as fresh food. Okay, so I did leave a couple guys in there. I am going to grind up some more food, put that in. Here's our banana is still in there from that whole banana. Look at them in there. Isn't that cool? Um, and we're going to continue to harvest from here. So this is how things are going with the harvesting of my red wigglers. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. They really help. I always love to hear from you. Leave me a comment and we'll see you again in about another week to 10 days. Have a great day.